I wake up in the morning and I can't get out of bed. I had this continuous pain. I used to describe it as a skewer going through my, my head, through my ears. And I wish so much somebody had known and had the insight to see how these things are interconnected and had been able to intervene sooner for me and help me so that I didn't have to suffer so much. And also those around me didn't have to suffer. I find that a lot of the problems in the world of TMJ stem from too much information being thrown out over the internet. Um, without any real backing from established medical knowledge. I was placed on a lot of different medications. I was placed on medications to deal with the pain in the joint itself, and I was given medication to deal with the, the, the nerve pain as well. So I was on a lot of medications at the same time, which was a very difficult process. I have been to the best medical facilities, and I've been very fortunate that my parents could provide that, but it's not, all the, it's not the right thing to do all the time, because even though I got the latest and greatest. The best, you know, the best thing was when I met Terry Cowley from the TMJ Association and I got the literature behind a lot of the research for the treatments I was getting. And then I, I said, well, wait a minute, <laughs> this isn't making sense. Um, these doctors are telling me one thing and yet I'm reading about something, com you know, completely the opposite. There needs to be a greater awareness in the medical field 
and also with employers and, and physical therapists and whoever else is involved in treatment of patients or looking at their care or insurance companies that this is a real condition that takes patients through a level of stages and it is very difficult physically to cope with, financially to cope with. I've used my student loans from law school to pay for my last surgery. Um, I have maxed out pretty much every credit card that I have. Um, and not just on surgery, but on pain medication, on alternative forms of therapy that aren't covered by insurance. Twelve surgeries later, I now have uh, bilateral um, metal joints. Instead of a house, I have a jaw. Pretty much anybody who's a pain sufferer, I think, needs to be able to voice it openly and not be ashamed to say that they're in pain. My face hurts is a very difficult thing for people to understand.